welcome to Kotaku Bonsai. Um, my name is Cindy. Typically on this channel you're seeing Dave. Um, I'm usually off screen, I'm a little camera shy and don't like to get involved with production. However, um, I did want to take a few minutes just to talk to everybody about our experience with the spotted lantern fly. Um, if you live in central Pennsylvania, you are very well aware that this bug has become a super nuisance. Um, you know, for the first year or two, we heard about them in Lancaster, and it, it was kind of like one of those issues that was on the back burner. We weren't really seeing them here, um, kind of hoping that, you know, they missed us. However, within the last year or two, they have become a huge, huge issue for us. Um, it, and I think it's fair to say that we have been pretty much completely infested at this point. Um, why am I talking about them? Well, they affect maples. Um, you know, we have other trees in our yard, pears, pines, um, and, and that's a decorative pear. They have more of a rough bark and, and the lanternflies tend to steer away from those. Um, however, we have three, four actually huge, very mature maples and they are just completely infested. Um, despite our best efforts, we've tried pretty much everything, you know, that, that's out there. We know to scrape the egg masses off. However, these trees are 60 feet tall. So there's no possible way for us to get in there and, and scrape all those egg masses off the trees. Um, we've tried trapping, you know, those traps that you see that use netting. Um, and then some kind of contraption, whether it's a milk jug or, you know, whatever, to keep, trap those bugs and then dispose of them. We've, we've done that. Um, we do a lot of taping. Last year, we used um, just duct tape from a hardware store, and it, it worked. We, we caught bugs, but um, what we found was still at the end of the summer, as these, you know, eggs have hatched and the nymphs were out and growing, um, they, they still, just the adults were covering our trees. And we would go out pretty much daily with a mixture of um, just Dawn dishwashing detergent and, and water and spray the adults and they jump at you and, and it's just, it's an awful process. There's bugs everywhere. Dave will tell you I hate anything with an exoskeleton. It's just... You know, as long as they're outside in their place, usually I'm okay with them. You stay in your lane, I stay in mine, but these lantern flies are everywhere. And I hear it from friends and neighbors. They can't sit outside on their on their porches or decks because these bugs are just everywhere. They jump on you, you know, and, and it's gross. They're, they're just gross. By the end of the season last year, you know, when you looked out into our yard from the trees, it looked like it was raining. So if you walked under those trees or mowed under those trees, basically you were getting covered in bug waste, which is just nasty. So, um, you know, how does this affect bonsai? We have a lot of, of maples. I heard from an arborist that I had come out and take a look that he, he really hasn't seen them on um, feeding on Japanese maples, which is which is good for us. Um, however, we do find the nymphs on them. Dave's out there spraying them pretty much daily, trying to make sure they're not damaging the trees. Because what happens eventually is they do kill the tree. So if we just left this go unchecked and didn't do anything about it, they, you know, mid to early to mid August, they start feeding. The adults start feeding on the maples, and that's when the damage occurs. So you can see, you know, on the tree strips of, of bark that that's just missing and that's what they do they they eat that and and eventually kill the tree so far our trees are living and I, you know i think that's probably because we've we've been pretty active at trying to deter these bugs but um i did have somebody come out i, I called at the beginning of the summer or spring and and had somebody come out and do a consultation in arborist and and take a look at our trees and give some advice and what they are going to do um probably the first or second week of august is come out and actually soak the trunk in an insecticide which we've tried to avoid up to this point we try to do more natural type of um solutions to be environmentally friendly we don't want to hurt any other animals or you know kill off the the 
the um, insects that are beneficial. But um, in this case, uh, we had to outweigh the good and the bad, like weigh the pros and cons there because th there's a lot of bugs. So what we were told is that um, what they will do is soak the bottom one third of the trunk with this insecticide. What happens is it soaks in, it travels throughout the tree. When the bugs bite the tree when they're feeding, it kills them. So we'll end up with, you know, a yard full of dead bugs, which is also you know, not ideal. They, they do, um, when they're killed and left there, they do form a kind of mold that, that can be toxic. So, um, you know, from everything I've read, it's good to try to clean up those bugs as much as possible and not let them in your yard. Um, you know, how much of that we, we can do, we'll see what's feasible. Um, so I, I, I am looking forward to that. I'm hoping that we'll kind of get rid of our problem or, or get it under control. In the meantime, um, this year we started taping pretty early in fact i had a little bet with dave because he said well you know i'm not seeing i'm not seeing bugs and what i what i told him was you're not going to these these guys when they hatch are, are like the size of a tiny tiny little tick they come out of their egg masses and they spread and and they're hard to spot they they're almost impossible to spot they're very very small um you know i and i've heard the same thing from my neighbors oh we haven't really seen any yet this year well you, you won't so they grow big enough where they're visible and you can see them in the trees and they're hopping at you. Um, so I, I bet, Dave, we, we got some tape from Amazon. This was specifically for, for bugs, not, not the duct tape like we used last year. And we wrapped the trees and within two days it was full, guys. It was gross. I mean, tens of thousands of bugs. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad we're catching them. I, I have to think that it's making a dent in what the population is in our yard. Um, when I talked to the arborist about it, he said, yeah, 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 you can tape, you can do that. Um, however, these are travelers, so they, they're jumping bugs, and what they do is they'll, they'll hitch a ride on cars, they'll hitch a ride, you know, they'll jump from tree to tree. So even if we kill all of them in our yard, they can travel in from neighbor's yard. So we're going to do what we can on our part to kill what's in our yard, and and I think we've been doing pretty well. I mean, we've, we've been pulling the tape down. It's slowing down. You know, the tape is only filling maybe every four to five days now. Um, certainly not as fast as it was in the beginning. So, you know, the other thing is they're growing, though. We can see that. They're, they're probably doubled in size. Um, and so, you know, we want to catch as many as we can while they're still small enough to stick to the tape. And, and we've been doing that. We've been trying to, to combat that as much as possible. Dave goes out daily, sprays them off the bonsai trees. Um, we haven't had damage on the bonsai trees from them yet. However, that doesn't mean it can't happen. So we're very, very um, cognizant of, of this issue and, and we're out there battling it pretty much daily. Um, the positive thing is I've heard from the arborist that, you know, when this kind of started in central PA, a lot of it was down, you know, where he's at in the Lancaster, Ephrata area, South Lancaster, and, and they're migrating. So this year, he said they're only seeing a handful of bugs in, in Lancaster. So our hope is if we can get through this summer and, you know, catch as many of the nymphs, the small bugs as possible, and then, you know, come August, have, have the tree soaked um, and kill off as many adults as possible, that next year, hopefully, hopefully we won't have to battle this again because it, it's not fun. It's, it's a lot of bugs and they're pretty gross. Um, some of the other treatments that are out there that you might have heard, you know, they can do tree injections. And I did ask the arborist about, about the injections, and what I was told is they prefer to do the soaking because with, when you inject the tree, you're opening up a wound and basically the possibility for other kind of disease to enter your tree. So whenever possible, they try to avoid any kind of, you know, injection. Sometimes, you know, the, you, again, you got to weigh the good and the bad. Sometimes that's necessary and it does help. So, you know, we're going to cross our fingers, see what happens. Hopefully, come August, we'll have a lot of dead bugs and we won't have this problem again next year. Hopefully, they stay off of the Japanese maples like we've been told they, they generally do um, because we hate to lose our trees to these, to these nasty little critters. Um, so, I will attach some pictures of the nymphs, the adults, 
what our tape looks like and add a link to Amazon where you can get that tape. It's been really effective. We've been really happy with it. Um, you know, I think it's like you get four rolls and it's like $27. Um, we've purchased two sets so far. I think that will last for the summer. Uh, again, our trees are fairly large, probably 60 feet high um, and, and pretty wide. So we've been wrapping them, even double wrapping them because those little buggers, if they manage to get over that first, you know, that first um, tape, then we have a second, a second wrap so that, you know, hopefully that catches them and they don't get up there any further. Um, it, hopefully, like I said, this will be our last summer for them. They are nasty, nasty bugs. If you see them, step on them, swat them, squish them, do whatever you need to do. We need to get rid of them. They're an invasive bug and they have been taking over. So happy squashing guys. Good luck and have a good summer. Bye.